everybody, I wanted to talk about why we use Photoshop in a drawing class or a painting class for that matter. Uh, it's the, and Photoshop is the industry standard for converting photographs of artwork into um, images that can be cleaned up and resized for digital presentation and for posting on web, the web. So starting with a drawing that I photographed, this is a quick gesture drawing that I did in my on-ground class to show direction of light, cast shadow shapes, uh, using the eraser to pull out some highlights on the white paper. And again, this is a very gestural drawing, but it makes a good example. So I wanted to photograph it and use it. And notice the size here is down here at 16%. The image that means the image size is really large, which is great for, you know, maintaining a ri an original right uh, uh, at a large high resolution image. Right, we can really get in there and see the details. We always want to save something uh, for our original size, but when we want to resave something. Um, we can reduce the file size. Also notice here, I'm going to zoom in so you can really see this. Okay, down here at the edge. When I photographed it, I laid it on the floor of my office in the school. It has, you know, red carpeting in my office. And there's kind of a curl. The edge curls up a little bit. And so that's not the best presentation for the drawing. What I wanted to do is crop it and then adjust the, the curves a little bit, right? So I cropped it so that, that those little edges are not visible. And um, I adjusted the curves. Notice I can go into Image, Adjustments, Curves. And I don't want to overdo this because it can, it can really make the drawing look a, a little bit odd, right? I, I want it to look a little bit more accurate, so I may adjust it just a little bit to show what it actually looks like physically. And I'm going to just say OK to that. So that, that might be the way I want it to look here. I adjusted it, I cropped it a little bit at the edges, and but notice here this image size is still a little bit large. So say I want to adjust that to 800 pixels, I would then 800 by 600 pixels for uploading to our classroom to meet the formatting requirement. I would go ahead and type in 800. Now if the pixel to height to weight ratio was a little bit different than 800 by 600, that's okay. Uh, we don't want to uh, you know, change the ratio of the, the proportions of the image. So we want to make sure that toggle is locked. And um, then we would resize that to save that to the classroom. I'm not going to do that at this particular time because I want to show you something else. Notice here, if I click on this, look at the color change. Let me open this up so we can see it. This color's reading is orange. Over here, it's reading as red-orange up here. Oh, it's reading as a magenta tone. So this is a black and white drawing. This is charcoal on, on white paper. I'm going to just cancel that for now. Uh, what I want is a consistent look. I want the paper to look like it is white paper with gray and black, um, you know, variations of, um, you know, my tones. So what I'm going to do is go to Image Adjustments desaturate. And what that does is it takes all the natural coloration of the lighting and reflected light in the room and converts it to grayscale. Now, notice this color here. If I click on anything, it's gray. I can open that up. And we're not getting any saturation. The color is coming up achromatic or without color. So we're getting a much better representation of what the drawing actually looks like. So that's why we use Photoshop. Uh, it's a standard uh, that artists have been using for, I don't know, decades now. So it's a great tool for everybody to have to use for the rest of your careers. All right, let me know if you have any questions about using Photoshop in this class.